If the Earth is a living, intelligent being, and peoples throughout the ages have known this, how do you prove it? George and Cynthia travelled to the UK as part of their global tour and visited Avebury and Stonehenge, where stone circles have been revered for hundreds if not thousands of years. You've got these incredible stone circles, ancient, ancient stone circles, and the ability to actually know them as a living being, to acknowledge them as a living being. George met with Maria Wheatley, professional dowser at the Avebury School of Esoteric Studies, who has proof that rocks have consciousness. Well, I think this is what the, uh, the ancients were doing. In their ancient technology, they realised the earth has a force and a consciousness. And that force and consciousness is being brought up in the stone. And using very sensitive electromagnetic recording equipment, we were very successful in recording uh, the sound and the frequency of these energy lines. Before you showed me that photo, I was attracted to put my hand here. It's, you know, it's, it's, yeah. it's like that's pretty much the distance of the second band there. And yeah, because if we come up the face of the stone, yeah. we will get uh, the top of the kind of that band there, a very strong reaction, yeah. and you can move it time and time again. Yeah. Yeah and you'll get that band there. So if we now move up the face of the stone, yeah, yeah we're getting that, that band, band there. Yeah, and this is where I had to put my hand. Each of these stones are their own personality, their own being, and they communicate in a specific way. And it's wonderful to see that you can actually measure it. People need to have a greater awareness and understand that there's so much going on around us in our natural environment. And these stone monuments are part of that natural environment. There's so much synthetic overlay at the moment with our current version of what we call cities, the current version of technologies and our transport systems and everything are really quite inorganic, they're really quite detrimental to the well-being of this planet, yet we have energy that's available to us that is totally free, limitless, and all of that is being withheld, it's all being held back. Stone circles throughout the UK are located on the intersecting points of the Earth's ley lines. One of Australia's leading psychics, Heidi Hanley, confirms the existence of the Earth's energy grid and the importance of ancient stone circles. It's, it's like a road or a map or a network of where energy travels, just like the veins or in your body or the meridians within your body. So too, the ley lines to me look as if they are the veins of the Earth Mother. They are the meridians of the Earth Mother. And when you have intersecting ley lines, they are particular spaces of power. They're places that we are able to access, once again, I feel, higher aspects of ourself. Our Journey Home, the documentary, now available on DVD and download.